Hello, absent people. Um, this week I saw a post on Facebook and there was asked what people wanted to learn, what you guys wanted to learn in um, Epson. And I saw, as usually, a lot of um, requests for dubstep and noisier kind sounds. Um, other people uh, wanted to hear a full song made in Epson. But I wanted to touch a little bit on the um, on the heavy sounds first um, because you can definitely make heavy sounds in Epson but the thing is or um, what I always do and I think what what those guys like Noisia and, and Spore do um, is that it's not just one sound in Epson um, and you're done uh, there goes a lot more into it like and splitting it in different frequencies and compressing the different frequ frequencies differently and stacking a lot of effects and I want to show you an example I have a, uh, a drop here myself sort of a, a more heavy drop and um, you can see already that um, it's a lot more than just one sound for example here I layer four sounds to make the initial initial uh, kick blast so if I can play a little bit of this first and then we can look a little bit into um, how you would uh, go about that so it won't be entirely in uh, Epson so this is first the build So that's a lot of stuff happening and a lot of these sounds are, are made in Epson but um, usually when I've got a little bit of a sound I then bounce it down and then I process it further otherwise your computer can handle it and um, it's easier to see what's happening. So for example we have the first, first blast here. So those are all... Uh, those sounds and the highs and the lows or oh, the mids more and then we have that layered with a sub and some crashes and some kick drums and some snares so in a lot of cases it's not just one um, absent absent sound um, and I can try and make a new channel so for instrument and open up Epson okay there we have it and then I can insert one note here That's beautiful. Okay. So normally I would start something like that. Just one note. Um, then I go to my patch and let's go for a granular for now. And then we choose a sound. Um, let's choose something from the library. Let's see, drums, acoustics, and then, yeah, let's just go for a kick drum. Yeah, I 
like that one number three okay and then we can set the timing to zero so now we've frozen the sample and then we can try a little bit of pitch modulation right click on the pitch create a new envelope sync it loop it set it to lock turn the grid on set it to 116 and then oh, we didn't have to do that because I'm gonna open up a template something like that um, then we can use maybe an LPS filter 8 ball and then um, let's go for a wave shaper and maybe a frequency shifter we can set it to transpose minus 12 Try zero. And then go for, let's say, the etherizer effect, maybe. So this is maybe the part of the sound that I would um, make in Epson. So that's not that complicated and then I would bounce it to audio. And I hope that works, my logic tends to crash when I bounce things lately. And now I have it in audio and now I can do a lot more stuff with it. I can bounce it again and all of this works the same if you guys are working in uh, Ableton. I mean the the general idea is the same. I can now re reverse that file, and then we have it like this. So we could use like sort of a build up, and I can take this first example again, and I can make it a little bit shorter. And then I can, for example, time stretch it. Or slow it down. Or uh, use a gran granular, I still can't say that. I'm so sorry. Granular. <laughs> use a granular engine. like this and change the grain size see and then we're getting uh, sort of towards the sound that we want so then we can bounce that again and now we have two of the same file I'm gonna go very quick because this is um, well, this is uh, something that, that takes the time to uh, get to a, a decent place, so I gotta move a little bit quick. Um, we can use a sample delay on this one, and we can use an uh, EQ to filter away all the lows. So then this sound's gonna be the highs, and it's gonna be more stereo, and then we can use the same EQ on the lows but then reverse it so I'm gonna set a low pass to 670 uh, with a 24 dB slope and I can remove this one so now we have the highs and the lows separate and now I can maybe copy this one again and make sort of a, a mid file there's going to be some overlap in frequencies here but 
I don't care for now and here for example we could choose a flanger and then all together um, or here we could choose um, something or well, let's choose something by native instruments so you guys probably have that too uh, let's use Okay, let's go for the absent effects. Keep uh, stuff a little bit absent uh, focus, and we're gonna use the pipe effect. Um, something like this. Can we modulate this? No. That's too bad. Something like that. And now we can send all this to one bus. Um, that we open up here like that oh, this one to all to bus 32 and now we have the whole um, the whole sound on that bus and then we can process it even further so I hope that, that by now you pretty much get the idea that a lot of this stuff is not made uh, most in most cases, I'm gonna say most cases, it's not made um, entirely in the synthesizer and you have to use different stuff and now I can use um, an auto filter maybe can use um, what shall we do a formant filter yeah let's use a formant filter and then um, step sequencer drag this out and we can set this to the 116 and then we drag this modulation handle to the dry wet um, like that. Or we can use an um, an analog sequencer maybe will be even better uh, we can delete this one and then we could bounce the results of that uh, down again to one audio file do the same thing um, or basically doing all that stuff until you're happy so um, it's a little bit more wor work in most cases than, than just uh, using Epsynth so I hope that helps a little bit and um, next week I promise to do a full uh, length tutorial on Epsynth again so um, for the Reese and dubstep and drum and bass guys uh, try this uh, try this stuff and I think it will get you much better results than uh, just staying in in uh, in the synthesizer the whole time yes have fun see you next week